Today's video is sponsored by Deepcool, featuring their CH510 Mesh Digital Case. This is Deepcool's new high airflow mid-tower ATX case with great flexibility and wide component compatibility for gaming PC builds. It features a programmable display screen to monitor internal system temperatures. It's also spacious inside with support up to 920mm fans or two 360mm radiators on top and front has a magnetic tempered glass window and detachable dust filters. So check it out on the link in the video description. Siguro karamihan sa inyo ay napanood na ang review ng RTX 4060 and you are pretty disappointed due to its price. But hear me out guys, review muna natin ang isa sa pinakamurang RTX 4060 graphics card in the market so far. So this is the new GeForce RTX 4060 from Palit. Inside the box, there's only the graphics cards itself. Wala nang kasamang iba so there's really nothing to talk about here. So the RTX 4060 features NVIDIA's new Ada Lovelace architecture, the cheapest card so far to do so, along with their 3rd generation RT cores and 4th generation Tensor cores, as well as features like DLSS3, ray tracing, AV1 encode, decode, at iba pa. Meron itong 8GB of GDDR6 video memory with 1 to 8-bit memory bus. Same with the RTX 4060 Ti. Although yung CUDA cores units lang nito is only at 3072. May board power lang na 115 watts. Kaya mas tipid ito sa oriente versus the last generation RTX 3060. So you don't need a much higher power supply to power this card. Palit recommends at least a 600 watt unit or greater. Although on our testing, the full system power consumption didn't even reach 300 watts, even with a Ryzen 7 7700X. Base core clock of the Palit RTX 4060 is at 1830 MHz, while boost clocks naman is set at 2460 MHz. Noticeable din yung usage nito ng 8 times na PCI slot instead of the conventional time 16 na kadalas ang makita natin sa mga graphics card. And since PCI Gen 4 itong card, it can deliver the bandwidth this card requires with only half of the full time 16 slot kung PCI Gen 4 ready ang motherboard mo. In terms of the card design naman, meron itong all black na color scheme. Two slot design including their dual fan cooling solution with 95mm large fans na may Zero DB technology which stops the fans kapag wala masyadong load sa card for more silent environment. May cutout din sa backplate to enable better heat dissipation and minimal RGB lighting on the side shroud could be customized through their software called Thunder Master. The card also only weighs 649 grams so very lightweight then. You can also customize the cover, backplate via downloading the 3D printable design with Palette Maker support provided on their website, which is great kung gusto mong i-personalize ang graphics card mo and kung may access ka sa 3D printer. It also uses one 8-pin PCI power connector. And medyo nakapaloob din yung power connector nito like what we have previously seen sa mga RTX 40 series na cards. Which is a good thing since the cables would not interfere with the side panels pag nakamount na sa case ang graphics card. For the display connection options, we have 3 DisplayPort 1.4a and isang HDMI 2.1a. And now for the benchmarks. Since this is a 1080p gaming position card, we'll be focusing on the 1080p performance and also on 1440p so that may idea tayo how this card will compare against some of the other cards we've tested across NVIDIA lineup. Gaya ng RTX 3060, RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, and also the 4060 Ti. We've also tested DLSS 3, DLSS 2, and ray tracing so that we have an idea about its performance when these enhancements are enabled. So on 1080p, lahat ito at the maximum settings available and without any enhancements. It can definitely handle these titles beyond 60 FPS. Compared to the last generation RTX 3060, hindi nagkakalayo ang difference nila in terms of raw FPS, mainly around 15 to 20 FPS lang, while on some other games very minimal lang, even on the RTX 3060 Ti. Towards the RTX 3070 naman, since this is a higher tier card, obviously this will remain superior in terms of raw FPS, with the difference mainly naglalaro from 15 to 40 FPS. The story remains the same when compared naman with the RTX 4060 Ti, enabling both ray tracing and DLSS naman. We can see that the RTX 4060 is on par lang or sometimes even losses out of the RTX 3060 and even the RTX 3060 Ti and obviously has lower FPS than both 
the RTX 3070 and 4060 Ti. Ideally speaking, if you want higher FPS, you can turn off ray tracing instead and turn on just the DLSS lang. And kung supported ng game, DLSS 3, which is also available only on RTX 40 series cards, should render even higher FPS compared to DLSS 2. On some synthetic benchmarks naman, in 3D Mark, dito panalo si RTX 4060 against the RTX 3060, although not against all the other cards in this crap. So sa V-Ray naman, it wins against the RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti on both the CUDA and RTX benchmarks, but not against the others. And of course, sa Blender GPU, same story lang din with V-Ray. It won against the RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti in terms of scores. So compared with the last generation RTX 3060 on synthetics, may substantial score difference signifying a performance leap. Although on gaming, medyo hindi ganun kalaki ang performance difference. Thermals on this card are pretty decent as well. When gaming, on a 40-minute run with F122, I got an average of 57 degrees Celsius and maximum of 70 degrees inside the case with the side panel closed. And in terms of fan noise naman, medyo audible siya when on high load but by the default auto fan curb, tahimik naman siya. So in my opinion, the RTX 4060 is a great card. Kung ang target mo lang talaga is to begin gaming and ang target mo is 1080p higher to max out settings. And also lower power consumption. And if you're only coming from the RTX 20 series or below. Kung galing ka naman RTX 30 series, I don't really think it's an upgrade. Based sa mga figures na nakita natin sa benchmarks. Unless you want to try out or use the latest generation features gaya ng DLSS 3 and encoders gaya ng AV1. And kung okay ka with the RTX 4060, then the Palette GeForce RTX 4060 Dual would be a great choice a budget-conscious gamer with its decent build, performance, design, and features gain ng option to customize the cover or backplate with your own 3D printed version. And for the price of 18995 isa nga ito sa pinakamurang RTX 4060 on the market sa ngayon. I'll put na lang yung product link sa description uh, where you can buy it sa Lazada or sa Shopee. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll upload sa action. So like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.